can be intimidating for many puppy owners. There's a lot of uncertainty on how to trim and how much to trim. We will show you how to do this with as little stress for you as possible and for your puppy. In general, you can plan on trimming your puppy nails at least weekly or every other week. You should probably check them on a regular basis to make sure they are not getting too long. It can become very uncomfortable for your puppy. It affects the way they stand and the way they move. A puppy that has been properly handled since birth will have had their nails trimmed frequently and be very accustomed to having their feet handled. Their nails grow quickly from birth and usually by two weeks of age have already been trimmed at least once and then typically weekly after that. If your puppy has come from a breeder that didn't get them accustomed to their feet being handled, you should start handling them as much as possible once your puppy has joined your home. Make it a relaxing and fun thing and do it frequently. If they are laying on the floor, sit next to them and pet them and handle their feet in a non-stressed situation. As they learn to ignore the feet being handled, trimming nails later will be much easier. Puppies with white nails are very easy to trim. You can see the pink, which is where the quick is. The quick is where blood vessels exist and you do not want to trim the quick or your puppy will experience a lot of pain and bleeding. Puppies with dark nails are usually more intimidating for people to trim, as you can't see the quick. A little knowledge about nails will go a long way in giving you confidence in trimming. Nails grow out straight and then will begin to curve. You can expect the quick to be just up to the curved area, so you will trim just up to this point. You can feel a little groove where the nail begins to curve. This is where you want to trim and no further. Don't forget to check for dew claws and trim those as well. Many people forget these and they grow long and curve around back towards the feet. It is always a good idea to have nail powder on hand when you trim nails. If you accidentally clip the quick and bleeding occurs, you can easily stop the bleeding by dipping the nail into the powder. There are two types of nail trimmers, guillotine type and scissor type. With our young and small puppies, we use human baby nail clippers, and then as they grow and get bigger, we will begin using scissor type. Another tool that many prefer using is the Dremel. Instead of cutting the nails, it grinds them down. The biggest thing to remember when trimming nails is don't brush it and try to make it a pleasant experience. For pups who are having a rough time with nail trimming, take it in small steps with just a few nails at a time and come back to do more a little while later. Offer treats during the trimming and lots of praise. For those who still find it intimidating to trim nails, call your vet or your groomer. They can help you. It is inexpensive and they can do this quickly and easily for you. Whatever you do, don't neglect trimming your puppy nails on a regular basis. Should we put some fake blood on it? <laughs> fake blood? No. No dogs were hurt in the production of okay. this video. There you go. Now we've oh, baby.